If you think Madonna is a big deal here in the U.S., you should see the reaction she gets around the world. Her latest CD, Confessions on a Dance Floor, has sold more than 4 million copies worldwide. To promote the album, Madonna made her first trip to Tokyo in 12 years, and she asked me to come along for an exclusive look behind the scenes. Wherever Madonna goes, it's an international event. Photographers catch her every move. Welcome back to the Thank you. And the Japanese journalists want to know every detail from what she missed about their country. I'm very happy to be here. I've missed the heated toilet seats. To what she likes about herself. I'm resilient. Does that translate? But Madonna is the ultimate performer, and her latest album is a celebration of dance. The highlight of the trip was a special club show, where I caught up with her backstage before she went on. What brings you to Tokyo? <laughs> we heard you were working. Really? We heard you For a change, you mean? Yeah, yeah. So are you ready to go in there and sweat and dance with everyone? Well, that was the whole thing. That the, the invitation that I got was I could come to Tokyo as long as I would dance. Well, you're going to have to take off that um, heavy coat. Take brown, off the heavy yeah, coat. Take it off. Roll up your sleeves. Yeah. Are you yeah. ready to do your disco roll? Well, I was looking at the video, right? So. Uh, you got to pump your hip. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Now it's working. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Go Harry. Yeah. Just wave your hands in the air. Yeah. And wave but then there's a whole thing care. with the with the hands like that that I don't quite have. Yeah, it's yeah. here and here and yeah. here and okay. here and here. Can you do that? What does it mean to you to go out in front of 12 or 13 or 14 or 1500 people? This place is just jam tonight. Mm, I like that. They're here for really, literally, a once in a lifetime experience. I like these gigs. I like this small, tiny, intimate gigs where I can feel everybody. You rehearsing here this afternoon? Mm -hmm. how, how much we did you rehearse. Yeah, but how much did you rehearse? We did the whole show. You did the whole show. Mm -hmm. There's You're, a rumor going around that I'm a perfectionist. It's just a rumor. Now, about last night. Yes. Did you blow the doors off the place? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Literally, when I was watching you on stage, uh -huh. I thought to myself, there, you put everything you have into that performance. There's yes. nothing left to decide. Yes, this is true. I push myself until there's nothing left. You've been doing this for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. You come into a town, you have uh, an album. Blow through Tokyo. Well, <laughs> but you have an album that's tw number one in 29 countries. Mm -hmm. What is inside of you that says, I still have to put every ounce of what I have on the stage? Well, I mean, the fact that my, my record is number one in 29 countries is, um, it means that um, I'm connecting to people. So when I go to that city and I do a show, I want to give them my all. Because they're giving me their all by buying my record. Since I've had the opportunity in the last year or two to have these little windows Moments. to kind of come and see you, uh -huh. you strike me as a person who leaves nothing to chance, who lives every day mm -hmm. as if it's her last day on earth. Well, that's the way I should be living my life. I would love to get to the end of every one of my days and think, did I do everything I meant to achieve? Am I happy this is, if, if this were the last day of my life on earth, would I be happy about it? I'd say 75% of the time I'm, I'm is a yes, but 25, no. Where does that come from? Being aware, being more conscious of the way I am with people, being more responsible for myself and how I interact with people, being more grateful. I think that's the main thing, being more grateful and appreciative. What are you most grateful for? My family, yeah. Because my family keeps me grounded and keeps it all real. Yeah. Mm. It is since you're also grateful for this response to this record. Oh yes, I'm grateful for that too. 
Yes. Because but that's all... ephemeral. I mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But from the standpoint that you're an artist, you work, you clearly put everything you have into yeah. what you do. Yeah. Sometimes it's wildly successful. And sometimes it's not. And I'm grateful for the ability to be able to ride that because you know there's a there's another side to success and that's well what's perceived as as a failure but I don't perceive it that way. Um, I like think, your last, like the previous yeah, CD, which was the worst selling album of my career, but one of my favorite records ever. Uh -huh. um, but I what I'm grateful for is the ability to just keep keep doing what I do and just you know okay. People weren't, you know, people didn't accept that. Fine. Pick my crown up off the floor, put it back on my head, and keep going. <laughs> it's all right. Madonna says there is a very good possibility.